Hi. Hi there. So I'm going to make a video on standard deviation using Excel. And um, what I did was I took the presidents of the U.S. and I put them in order by name and all their heights um, in centimeters. So if I wanted to look at this, one of the things I would do, if I wanted to find the standard deviation, I was going to show you all the steps. All you have to do is type in S T D E V. Now, there's two types of standard deviation. There's standard deviation based on a sample, and standard deviation based on an entire population. If you're not sure which one to use, think about are you using all the precedents? And I am, so I'm going to do it on population. So it says estimate standard deviation based on a sample. So that's not the one I want. It's actually this one on a population. Um, oops. And. And I just want to double check. This says calculate standard deviation based on top. Yeah, I don't need that one. I'm going to use this one. STDEVP. So I do that. And then I highlight all the cells I want. Oops. Oh, no. This isn't going with. So I highlight my cells. And I close my parentheses. And there you go. So the standard deviation is 6.95, but <clears throat> that doesn't really do me too much good unless I know the mean standard uh, deviation. So that doesn't do me too much good unless I know the mean. So and I like this. So I need to find the mean as well. So the mean is going to be equal to. Um, oh, they don't actually have mean, but that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do. Uh, uh, the sum of, and I'll add these all up. And let's see. Um, this is quite embarrassing. I should know how many presents we have, and I should be able to just subtract. Uh, I'm a little under the weather, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to count the presidents just. Mm -hmm. oh, that's not going to work. Oh, goodness me, this isn't working at all. I'm just going to. Uh, so I'm working with Phoebe here, which is making things a little bit tricky. <coughs> so let's see. I go down to cell 44. 44 minus 2. Uh, so it should be 43 presidents. Oh, and that makes sense. The average height is about 179.74. That, that does make sense. Now, if I want to find the median, how many presidents are above a certain height, and how many are below, do the same thing. And looks like half the presidents. Ah, ow, my daughter just stabbed me in the chest with a pen, so, you know, that's not good. Ah, I was wrong, there's 43, goodness me, oh wait, no, I was right, alright, good, alright, um, and this is my median. Now, if you want to make a box and whisker pot, which I always advise doing, um, just to kind of look at things. You need to know your quartiles. And in order to do the quartiles, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do equals quartile. And you pick this. You select your whole group. And there goes the marbles all over the floor. Equals the quartile. And it's uh, this way. Equals quartile, and it's from <laughs> C2 to C44. Alright, so what you have to do is I'm going to enter in C2 to C44, and then I need to tell them what quartile I want. And it looks like I want, let's say we'll take the first quartile, I press 1, oh. 
And I went C2 to 44, which obviously won't work, so I had to do C2 to C44. So my first quartile is 174. My second quartile equals quartile C2 to C44. Should be my median. Sure enough it is. Um, my third quartile. You know what I'm going to do? It's going to... It's going to copy this. And then instead of doing quartile 2, I'm going to do quartile 3. Oops. Well, here I end up doing quartile. There we go. So this is quartile 1, quartile 2, quartile 3. And let's see what happens if I do this. And then... This becomes quartile four. Quartile four is a hundred percent, so that should be the tallest. Now, if I wanted to put these heights in order, what I'd do is I would highlight this row or this column rather, and go over. And I'd say sort and filter. I'd say smallest to largest, and it looks like there we go. So let's see, one seventy four point five. So these guys are in the first quartile. Um, one seventy or one eighty-two was the median. And then the third quartile was one eighty-four. And then the last for these. So, I'm going to do a more detailed explanation and as to why the standard deviation is useful and why the means important if you're going to use the standard deviation. But right now, we're, we're rolling marbles, aren't we? So, I don't have the time for that. Anyway, I hope this helps. Try it with your, um, uh, with your countries uh, from the CIA World Factbook. And that's it. I hope you uh, have a nice day.